The Birth of a River High up in the mountains, a spring of water bubbles up. The clear water comes through the rocks and runs down the steep hillside. When the rainy days come, the water runs down the rocks into the spring. It also runs into the little stream and goes away down and down. The mountain stream sings and gurgles as it rushes down among the stones. As it goes along, tiny streams join it from each side. As the little streams send their water into the stream, it gets bigger. At last, it reaches the foot of the mountain. Then quietly, it winds its way through the fields and makes its way to the sea. Do you know why rivers run to the coast and join the sea? If you pour some water on a tray, a slate or a box lid, you will see that it runs downhill. Water cannot run uphill by itself. It always tries to run downhill. Now the land is lowest where it goes to the sea, and so the stream flows along to the lower land. When the stream has gone along for a while, perhaps another little stream joins into it and they flow along as one stream. The new stream is bigger and wider and soon people call it a river. One by one the little streams join in and the rain helps to make it bigger still. At last it reaches the flat lands near the sea. Then it widens out very much. This is called the river mouth. The mouth of a river is very wide because the river is now as low as the sea. The tide comes in and flows up the river for a little way. So it washes the banks away and makes a wider river. When you see a river running into the sea, you will see boats on it. Perhaps big ships will be sailing on it too. The big ships come up the river to bring goods from other lands. So they often find a big port near the mouth of a river. Here ships bring from far off lands all kinds of things to eat and to use. These things are needed by our own people. When the ships sail out again, they take goods from our country to the lands beyond the sea. The little stream coming from the spring on the mountain is so small you could easily jump over it. But when it becomes a river and reaches the sea, it is very deep and wide. Rivers help to take away the rain water from the land. They water the fields as they flow past and makes crops grow better. Sometimes rivers are born in lakes and not in mountains. The water from the lake runs out at the lowest end. Water comes tumbling from the hills into the lake and it would soon be too full if no water could get away. So a little river flows out of the lake and takes the water away to the sea. By John R. Crossland